These are not very pleasant working days for authorities who superintend over the downstream oil sector in Nigeria. In the last three weeks and counting, motorists have had a Herculean task finding petrol largely attributed to shortages in supply. As has become the routine, the director of the Department of Petroleum Resources is in the field with his colleagues, and this assignment takes him to the depots in Apapa to run his professional eye on levels of supply. Here, there's a 6 million liters of PMS, or petrol, ready for discharge and onward distribution to fuel stations. If you look at giving to majors, yes, majors will take to the municipality. And then you have people coming from surrounding areas to inundate these majors. So what you we want you to do is to disperse it and uh, give at least some adequate um, quantity. Uh, to the independence. And as I said, um, if you can move some of this product from the Lagos coastal area to Ogara, Ogara, Wari, and then uh, Port Harcourt and Calabar, at least just to ease uh, instead of you know, uh, allowing um, uh, tankers to the plane all the way through <coughs> from the southeast uh, to Lagos and from the far north to Lagos as well. From information gathered, that stock should be exhausted by tomorrow while another stock is expected by Saturday. Professionally, from our own position, um, I would like to say we have not been, gave, we have not been receiving regular stock. I mean, on average days we truck in excess of 10 million liters. That has not happened for some time. On arriving this depot, a vessel with 16,000 metric tons is discharging, and that translates to about 23 million liters, or 600 trucks of 33,000 liters capacity. The last holiday too, the not help matters. The Saturday, the, the seasonal days, I mean the Christmas day and the Boxing day, there were not there were not not much loading in virtually in most of the depots, and that actually affected supply. As mean they have been loading on those two days, the the scarcity must have eased by now. A cursory look at the entire process and situation shows that while supply may be happening, the dispatch is rapidly slowed down by the gridlock experienced in Apapa. As it stands today, there's only one way in and one way out out of Apapa, owing to the failed states of the roads. Also, while most depots may be receiving supply, it is not in commensurate measure to capacity and the demand on the streets. It tells you simply that there is a supply gap which must be plugged. Bolo Phillips, Channel Television News.